Welcome back, collective. Hi. I always miss you when I'm not on here talking to you. So it's good to see you again. I have another message. Um, let's just go ahead and start praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to thank you, to love you, to glorify you, to adore you. Father, we serve you and we are fully and wholeheartedly committed to your purpose, your will. I pray, Father, that you would move mightily by your Holy Spirit, leading and guiding each and every one of us according to how our vision or how the vision that you have for our life and our purpose should be played out. We thank you so much for the inspiration that you give us daily. We thank you for the protection that you give us daily. Thank you that you help us to gain understanding that we're not ignorant to Satan's devices and we are always a step ahead because of you, because of your your glory, your righteousness, your truth. We worship you and we praise you. Jesus, you are our King, our Lord, and our Savior. And we pray that you would go before us and make the way, make the way straight. Clear the path of every single enemy and rebuke and bind up every devil that would try to hinder our purpose or stop the flow of our Father's message, speaking to our hearts and our souls, and, and blessing our families. I pray all of this in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, hi, collective. Sorry. <laughs> my puppy is like chewing on another one of my my journals okay so this is the message that I have for you there has been something that has been going on with you in regards to um close intimate relationships friends family there's a great level of influence that's been had on you moving forward um freely and successfully but that is no longer. So with the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician, this is like someone has been very resourceful for a very, very long time. There is something that they have been doing to cause manipulation in your life. And it's like, although it's been taking this person some time to really try and gain the upper hand or to to fully manifest what it is that they want for you in your life. Now, this could be... Um, this could have something to do with a marriage. This could have something to do with an institution or um, like a large business or a company. This could have something to do with the faith-based community. There could be a few things here. This could also have something to do with just, you know, um, some type of traditional relationship or um, some level of traditional commitment. But it's like... Someone has had power or control over, you know, this sector or this area of your life. And it's like they have been using all of their resources and all of their power to really represent something to be better than it than it is. Or there's some type of illusions here. And there's like definitely some manipulation happening here. So it's like if you collective, if you had um, an ex-partner that was doing magic on you. This is like this partner wanted you to wait for them. So they would do magic or they're doing some type of incantation or speaking something or projecting some type of energy, or this is literally them doing and using every resource they have to keep you stuck so that they can continue on with whatever they're doing. And then when they're taught, when it's time, the commitment, the relationship, the marriage would still be what they want it to be, even if they took a long time. And then they would just want, they would keep you stuck for moving forward. 
you know? So this is like so many situations. If this had something to do with employment, not wanting to give you some form of advance, raise, promotion, or if you're trying to move ahead in your career, there's something that someone was doing to really keep you stuck for a long time. And that is so that you would only be able to be, you know, successful um, career-wise working with them. You would only want to sign a contract or, you know, do work for this company or whatever the case is and to keep you blocked from moving forward. So, you know, like this person could have been doing a lot of stuff to stop opportunities from coming towards you. If they wanted to prolong any type of victory that you had, it's like this person wanted to hold this carrot and they wanted to be the only one in control. They wanted this to be the only source or, you know, the only thing for you. And they were trying to do anything they could to make this happen. So yeah, like if this was an employer, this is somebody that has no problem in, you know, saying in, that they're going to give you more money, telling you, you know, all the things that you want to hear, you know, not fully producing anything, stopping other competitors from really wanting to recruit you, you know, like doing things to really put a, a, a sense of stagnation in your life. If this was a marriage or something, you know, it could have taken a long time for reconciliation to happen. And this person knew it. They just wanted to really play and pull on this as long as they could. You get what I mean? So that they can generate whatever it is that they have in their mind. Like this is just total control and manipulation. But it goes so beyond someone just really wanting to be um, mischievous or wanting to, you know, be domineering or whatever. This is like somebody really going out of their way to do this. So yeah, just take it how it fits. If this is like a group or some type of organization, this could be something that you're involved in, you know, just based on your own level of servitude or whatever. There could have been something that kept you stuck and stagnant for a really long time. And it's like, whatever this is or whatever was being done, whatever tactics were being used, it was the same things, you know, just all efforts being put in so that there's only one choice for you or, you know, like you only feel that there's one truth or you go to, you know, just for you to conform to their way of, how they want outcomes to go in life for you, for them, for whatever. And this has just been going on for a really long time. This is something that this person felt like they were just going to stick with the plan with this. And this was really going to, the intention was for it to keep you, uh, ooh. <laughs> they feel like you just slipped right out of their hands. You know what I mean? Whatever this is, whatever control they had, whatever manipulation, whatever tactics, if this was literal magic, if this was a combination of, you know, um, word affirmations and mirror map, I don't know, like people just use a combination of things to try and manifest the, the stuff that they want. But it's like, this would have kept you stuck, not seeing a way forward, not really, you know, knowing whether to stay or go or like which direction would be best or feeling as though even if you leave or, you know, there's not going to be anything brighter coming, you know, on either side. This is kind of like the imagery they wanted to project towards you. And all of that is over. You know, this has been going on for some time. Like these are just the cycles and the series of events that you have been experiencing with this situation right here. You know, like this has just been happening for a long time and this was not going to stop. Whomever this magician is, who's standing in this magician energy, this person that really feels that they can use their resources to make things happen the way that they want them to. You know, this person, um, they present a lot of positive illusions to get certain outcomes, but it's like, <sighs> you're done doing that. You know, you're not going to be doing that anymore. And this person is acknowledging this. This is not even something that, you know, you jumped up and started saying or whatever. This person is acknowledging that they've been able to manipulate you for a really long time, either for moving ahead in life and, and actually accepting, you know, what the Lord has for you or like, you know, asking the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you towards a new 
soulmate partner or to release you from something, whatever it is, this person wanted to keep you tied to this. Hmm. And it's like, you know, what is really alerting this person that this is over is the fact that when it gets to the point where you repeat the same cycles with this stuff right here, so whatever this situation is, there's a certain series of events that will continually happen and they just play out the same way every single time, right? And this is a part of the manipulation. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of things that are, are unseen that are happening, like this person could have been manifesting or decreeing and declaring something or praying something and and then speaking like a manifestation um verbally like really doing a lot to keep to keep you bound spiritually naturally emotionally like this person knew what they were doing but it's like when it got to the space where you and this person or you and this organization or you and this team or this group or whatever you start going through the same stuff the same series of events toxic happenings you know whatever it is when you got to a when it got to a certain space and you were not there to complete this cycle to really participate in this and to com to continue this cycle of things just con you know going in the same order this is when this person realized you're no longer Locate it like like they can't locate you in this energy. There's nothing in this that they can do to control you anymore. You've already leveled up. You've already qualified out of this. You've already completed whatever mess or uh, learned. Um, let me slow down. <laughs> I said message and learn. <laughs> you received the message. You completed the assignment. You have learned the lesson. Okay. And this person cannot generate any more illusions to put in front of you. There's literally no more manipulation. This has been going on for so long. It's like you already know what to expect. And this person wasn't, they weren't planning on changing their tactics or anything. They were just going to move on to the next step. It's like, okay, they do this, you do this, that, then this happens, then that happens. This has just been long, this long and tedious process that just was not going to stop. Until you actually put an ending to it. She's not wearing a top on the top part, but until you actually put an ending to this, you're no longer stuck. Somebody can't keep you stuck. It's like you could even have an obsessive person. Like, let's just say, for example, you have an obsessive person that's stalking you and they are just madly in love with you. They plan on bringing you some type of offer at some point in life. But because this person is a narcissist and they're selfish, they want to do binding magic or do weird stuff to keep you as, you know, on reserve for them. So to spiritually, they don't care if this is years. They wouldn't care if this was five years you sat alone and waiting because on the other end, they knew that they were being the puppeteer and they were pulling all the strings. You wouldn't move forward. No one would literally touch you or engage with you. And then you'd be desperate and thirsty and ready to do and work with them or whatever But by the time they got there. <laughs> now, I know that that is a very random <laughs> like what if so <laughs> three 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 that is probably not random at all like i don't really remember everything i just said but you gotta like rewind it or go back and listen to that because somebody is actually doing that this could literally be someone that just is heavily you know like obsessed and they have been for a long time and they're really trying to make things work out in the way that they want them to so that you nobody else has you but them. And that that stuff is nuts. This person is really reaching to think that, you know, the Lord is going to allow them to do anything like that. So not even considering this person is like what they do now does not affect you. You are totally free. You have been released, you are healed, you are free. While this person was still stuck in the same plan that they were using, the same old tactics, the same whatever, God has already released you and moved you forward. <laughs> like...
Yeah, they wanted to play some wicked mind game or something or do some. I don't know. The, what I'm picturing in my mind is basically someone used to doing the same thing every day and then they get up and then they go there to do it and whoever they go to do it to is not there. Or, you know, what you used to participate in or what used to work, it doesn't work anymore. You're not on the same level. Um. So this person, 1515, and I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, but this is like several situations going on in your life. And I just really want you to be able to grasp that. Like somebody has been for a long time really feeling as though they can stake a claim on you if they're doing things in a certain sequence or a certain order. This could have something to do with spiritual leadership. This could be someone that has a certain access to, um, you know, certain traditions or certain rules like this magician. This is someone that feels as though if they can have you in two areas, like they want to, you know, like this is someone that'll do things in the spiritual realm and then do things in the natural realm to make sure that they're, that they're really capturing or binding your essence or who you are. Like this person thinks that they're smart. They really think that their tactics work or their tactics have been working for a while. Like they could have had some type of spiritual approval or it's like the Holy Spirit could have allowed something for a certain period of time just to see how far this would go, how much it would block you or how much this person would want to block you or just really to, t to test and see what, what like what is really going on in this person's mind. But here's the thing, every part of the manipulation this person was invested in, every part of the magic, word curses or whatever, the divine allowed it and it was literally being recorded the entire time. So it's like everything has been recorded. Everything, this has been recorded since the beginning of this. This is like there are, yeah, the Holy Spirit has witnessed and seen everything in what this person has done. This person is really stuck in this space right now. It could be too. It's like the Holy Spirit is holding this person. They're holding them back. They're holding them accountable. And they're blocking them from using magic or from moving forward or using whatever combination to manifest or to block things in your life or to try and stake some claim on you or to make some form of declaration. Like this is just the Holy Spirit is really just on this person right now. This is almost like something being witnessed right at the scene of the crime. Like something could have been happening for a long time. And then it's like the one time it happens, all of the authorities are there, like the right person, the Holy Spirit has shown up and you have been dis like, it, you're excused. You can leave, you know, like you, there's nothing here that you did wrong. There's nothing that you need to be hindered or stopped for. You know, you shouldn't have to run through and repeat this cycle. There's clearly some manipulation being done here, or there's clearly magic being done. There's clearly, um, you know, an exhausting of resources and someone really wanting to be crafty and creative in the ways that they slow down your progress or they, you know, keep some form of finances from getting to you or some sort of, I don't know, this is some sort of stability. This could be a love offer. This could be a job offer. This could be just about anything. Somebody has just been trying to use every tactic in their repertoire to really make this happen. And now that this person has been busted, this energy has been exposed. It's like you are dancing off. You get to prance right off the scene. Do, do, do. You know, you're leveling up in victory. You're moving forward in strength and power. You have been credited for the your achievements, the things that you've overcome, the accomplishments. It's like you canceled out this cycle. Whatever you did on your end was strong enough and it was effective enough to really cancel out this pattern of this series of events happening. And you brought a closure to this. You are no longer involved in any of this and or, or you know, like you're not being 
affected by this anymore, nor will you. It's over. You know, it's basically like, not only did you learn the lessons and everything that you needed to in this, this is the divine saying, now I have all that I need. This is all the evidence that I need. And this was what was going on. The divine was watching this person use their power, their resources or abuse something for a long time to make things go in their favor, to make things come out in the way that they want them to. Hang on just a second. Let me check on my puppy. Hold on. Be a good girl. Be a good girl, Shannon. Come here, come on, Mama. Okay. Here, sit down. Yeah, this is like the divine is like, that's all I needed. You're you're free to go. This is all the evidence that I needed. I see them now. And now in the divine is like, now I see why you've been blocked. They, the divine, like God wants you to see why you've been blocked, what's been happening, who's been doing this or how they've been doing this. But this could have a lot to do with the type of work that you do. It's like your work, your trade, your employment, what you've been creating or something that you're really good, like you're an expert at something. It, this has something to do with you either taking these great qualities that you possess, this level of work that you um, can create, and you're walking away. It's like you're taking your cup of love back. So, you know, this really could have something to do with the level of work or the value that you carry, you know, like you are someone that really stays focused and dedicated on whatever tedious amount of time it takes. You continually have this, this burning fire for the things that you do and you are, you've gained some sort of reputa reputation for yourself that you're, that you're very modest about. But it's like you could have taken your your um, gifts and your talents and your cup of love back, like whether or not you care about this, working with this, building with this, and that could have really triggered this person. But whatever it was, you closing out this cycle and, and recognizing that this was being done to you because of your quality, because of your gifts is like someone wanting to selfishly hold you for their own. But what they're doing is holding up your progress and really blocking you from moving forward in love, marriage, family, happiness, friendships, collaboration, business, whatever. <clears throat> Yeah. You know, and this is also too, so like if this is not someone that's doing this um, without your consent or without your knowledge, this was being done in your face to just make you feel or make you think that things were better than they really were. You know, like they were doing everything they could for a long time to just really keep you stuck and stagnant and, and keep this type of control and power over you. To really have this level of authority over you without you fully really seeing it as that. But that's exactly what that was. You know, really um, strengthening their power and influence they had over you. But this is even more the reason why it's like you got to walk away. Hmm. It's, you know, since you have made this very firm decision in regards to how you're going to invest your time and energy, where you're going to build, you know, where you're going to be emotionally 
concerned or you're going to you're going to place like your love or your care or whatever um gosh i forgot what i was going to say hang on well basically it's like you're being seen as just someone that's very mature they you're being seen as someone who's tapped into you know a certain level of inner knowledge like you are reconciling with yourself this is you being healed on more than one level this is you really not feeling the need to conform to things that are not working for you you're not interested in being held by manipulation you know like if you've recognized that in a certain area you've been stagnant or you've been stuck for some time and these are areas that you are very much interested in having a part of, you know, like whatever this is in your life, it's, it's something big. It's definitely something important. This is the Hierophant. This has to do with rules, regulations, public morality, or I don't know. But yeah, you're being as someone that's just very, very peaceful. You're allowing things to go with the flow, you know, like you respect the natural order of things. You are, um, you could be someone that is a business owner, but you're seen as having like this heart of gold, really being deserving of the things that you've built or the things that are coming towards you. Hmm. This person feels like, you know, seeing you outside of whatever this was. Seeing you outside of whatever this was, there was so much manipulation and um, this was either using spiritual law and order or using, you know, certain traditions or, you know, different things to keep you conformed and to keep you really underneath their their thumb, but it's like seeing you outside of this, outside of what your value is, like what you can do for this person or what you can add to them or how they can benefit off of you. It's like just seeing you be very much relaxed and in your life purpose, this, you know, mother nature kind of energy about you and you don't have to be a feminine and it's like, if you're a masculine, this is an energy that's just being very much admired within you, <laughs> you know, like they, this is someone feeling as though like you're very much relaxed, you're very much in control, but you are just standing in a space of peace and intuition. <laughs> and it's like, you are allowing this very sensitive and motherly side of you to just be very easily seen. Hmm. This could be someone feeling like you just have this inner knowing. So you just kind of sit down and smile. You're not very combative or aggressive about a lot. There's just certain things that you just already know on the inside of you. You could um, be seen as someone that gets a lot of, you know, satisfaction from just kind of like sitting back and watching and just allowing things to just play out. <laughs> And this comes from like this knowledge, this inner knowing, like, it, like you have knowledge that is only accessed or, you know, that's only known to a few. <laughs> you, you could like to walk barefoot. You really could like the feel of the earth underneath your feet. Male or female. But it's like, you know, this person sees you as being very hardworking and dedicated, knowing when to let go of something and to move on, knowing when to release, you know, not to put too much pressure on anything. It's just like you sit in this very naturally, organically kind of homegrown kind of energy. I don't know. But it's like, they feel like, you know, because you have this about you, you have a new opportunity coming towards you. Or it's like, this person feels like, you know, you see this as an opportunity to really express um, some form of creativity in a different area. They could really see you wanting to 
I don't know, start something new. Let's see. This person feels like because of the overall energy that you sit or that you stand in, like outside of your work, outside of your commitment and your dedication, outside of your conformity and your traditions, you are just a very, very beautiful, very loving energy. You know, like you could be passive and very meek in a lot of ways. And this just speaks more on the strength that you carry. You know, like you have this heart of gold and you are very wise in the way that you judge. You're very fair. Somebody feels like you could have, you know, like originally they thought you were stepping out on something that was a little immature or that could have like fizzled out very quickly. This could have come across as you, you know, wanting to show off or wanting to just kind of like have a hand in some of everything. Like you're already very gifted and talented. So this person couldn't, um, you know, like there was something about something that you did that they were looking at like it had an immature energy or it wasn't something, you know, that was really going to bring in, I don't know, but this person has had a change in mind in that, you know, like They've had a change of mind, a change of heart. They see things from a very different perspective. If they thought that you were doing something, stepping out and being immature previously, they're realizing now that you stepped out on a new opportunity, knowing that you had the maturity, you had the adaptability, and you had the stability within yourself, this groundedness. Like you know how to allow things to naturally progress but you also know how to invest in the right way. It's like you as this empress or this emperor energy, you sow the right seeds. So again, this could have started or this very well could have been something that would have fizzled out quickly for someone else, or this would have been something that really didn't get the proper nurture or care in the beginning in this, you know, stepping out on this. But with what it is that you have to invest in an opportunity, in a project, in a collaboration, you know, a new opportunity that starts brand new, that has all this potential really does have the potential to grow if you nurture it and you, you, you continue to do the right things. And it's like, now this person is seeing very differently because it's like, they have a new vision in regards to this opportunity that you have went out towards. This person feels like originally they had some type of mindset problem and they're letting go of the way that they thought about things in the past. They're letting go of the way that they saw this. There's been some level of enlightenment here. And the enlightenment is that you have healed and cleared your energy. You've spent, an, you've spent the right amount of time praying and growing. You've spent the right amount of time going within and like really trying to figure out what are the deeper things that could be holding you back or, you know, whatever it is, this person feels like you've done the work. You, you have restored faith. You have restored hope. You have restored healing all in this opportunity that they thought was going to be something that was here today and gone tomorrow, or they thought that you were just being overzealous, or you were just trying to go after whatever catches your eye or whatever that is, but that's not even the case at all. And it's like, this is where this comes from, that this person feels like you really take enjoyment and just sitting back and being right. Or sitting back and allowing things to just naturally um, progress. But it's like overall, this person feels like there's something that you, you know, you just feel really good about being right about something. You're also being seen as someone that, you know, like your appreciation for the blessings that you've received is very much apparent. And every single thing that you do, and it's because you are the star, you're this healer, like whatever this, this person was thinking, this magician, or if they felt like they had to hold you back or hold you to something like this person sees now that you are a star, you shine way too bright to be hidden. You know, like God's not going to allow you to be hidden or put underneath something to cloak your gifts or cloak your abilities or to keep you stagnant. Like 
they are acknowledging that, you know, the blessings that you have on your life are meant to grow you, to heal you, to expand you, to rejuvenate you and others. I have the Ten of Coins at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, this person could really be learning something new or spying out and getting some information in regards to what you've been building. Um, they could see you sharing your success with your family or just a lot of things that you've done have really brought in these positive rewards for you. And you're enjoying this. You know what you are receiving back is all based on what you put out. And it's it's a very clear indication that you are a beautiful person on the inside and you're a beautiful person on the outside. It's like, you know, your good works are speaking volumes. Your, um, your positivity, you know, the things that you've done to get back good karma, good energy back, this is a lot of what broke away this person trying to bind you or trying to use any type of manipulation or spell casting or whatever the case is, it's like they can't hold you to something that is spiritually in balance. Like you're going to receive what it is that you deserve in life, regardless of what this person wants for you or how they want it to manifest or when they want it to manifest. The truth is that you deserve every single thing that you're receiving that's good, that's that's worth praise and celebration. God is doing that for you. So if somebody wants to sit and be this want to be God and they want to be stand in this magician role in your life and they think that it's okay to slow you down or to manipulate how the how things really go for you, that's not okay. That's not going to happen. You know, like you're supposed to have a certain level of wealth that you can share with your family. You're supposed to have a certain level of wealth that is, you know, really stabilizing you. But um, yeah, this person is really learning that either you have the gift of intuition, discernment, you have the gift of prophecy, or you just have this awakened mind. You know, like you really do. You have this awakened mind and this person doesn't fully understand. They don't understand how, you know, this is something that they didn't see. And it's like, by the time they see this, you've already cleansed and healed this relationship, this connection, or this whatever. This team, this partnership, you've already healed from this. I have Isaac and Rebecca at the bottom. It's like this person is learning too late that you're exactly what it is that they were looking for or that they were guided to go and find or, you know, um, or if they're not learning late, they've always known this. And this was their, you know, like you having this inheritance, this is like um, financial wealth, spiritual wealth blessings, you know, angels following you around, like doing good things and good deeds in your life and in the lives of those around you. This person knew that. They knew you came loaded with a lot of benefits and they wanted to keep you for that reason. And it's like, no, that level of deception does not belong to someone who has invested good things in their life. Someone wanting to really steal like a happy life, your wishes coming true, you know, dreams being fulfilled and everything like that. Somebody really wanting to take away this love or these accomplishments and these achievements and stuff. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. <laughs> the Holy Spirit said they saw that too. You know, and it's just like there is some type of spiritual case being built against this magician for all of the sneaky and deceitful things that they were doing behind the scenes to really try and keep you stuck. This person could have really been moving like the relationship that you had with this person they saw how blessed you are they wanted to hold you and keep you stagnant because they had been spying on you they were learning that you know good things are happening for you you're receiving all of these blessings good you know like the the positive energy that you put out is coming back and th this person just wanted to manipulate you and hold you but it's like they would have never been true honest or integral in regards to this partnership at all this would have just been something to keep you stuck and to benefit them.
Now, if this was a relationship or a marriage or something, this person would have just been cheating and going back and forth out of this relationship with still giving you some type of traditional commitment. Like this person will put it on paper and still go cheat. Because they feel like they have connections elsewhere or they can, I don't know, or they feel like they can get away with this or they're just selfish. They just want you for their self. Or this is like, if this is, um, you know, something that you commit and dedicate all of your extra time and energy to, this is something that you are really investing in. This could be a service or whatever it is that you do. This person, you know, whatever this connection was, this, this employment, something related to the community or whatever, you would have been in this tradition or this contract and this person would have been dogging you and moving in silence and talking about how, you know, just dogging the partnership the entire time, dogging the connection, using, you know, the connection that they have or having some type of like traditional commitment on paper or having some type of, you know, they feel like they were empowered, like they have a certain level of authority or ownership. Like you're going, you're going to follow these rules no matter what. You're going to stick with this no matter what. So it's like this person would have just been talking about you and moving in silence behind your back all the time. There was just there was a lack of loyalty and integrity here. Whoever this uh, this person was, you know, this magician had plans on always moving in silence, always doing things that you didn't see always having some type of other agenda that would just not be very direct with you in regards to, you know, anything. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And now that this is over, now that you have not only invested in working for yourself, so it's like you could have gone into self-employment or you could have built something new for yourself or there's some sort of work that you have been um, creating and producing over time. And now it's becoming very excellent. Like, you know, like your talents are really being seen. This person is very, very, they feel shocked of the amount of quality they they feel shocked at the at like all of these I don't know the qualities that you possess even outside of the work that you possess they feel like your work is just amazing but it's like this person was just keeping you to be selfish there there was really no interest in who you are what you do what you're capable of now that this is over and this person had you this whole time and they were sneaking around moving in silence backbiting you stabbing you in the back they were cheating on you they were doing all of this stuff to you and it's like there was nothing wrong with the partnership there was nothing wrong with this there would have been mutual love and respect honesty integrity the divine was clearly here putting this connection together you know but this person just wanted to have the most control. They wanted to manipulate and they did not want to let things unfold or just even move naturally. This person was just really trying to control every way that this went. Like you don't get anything until they release it to you. You don't move anywhere until they tell you like, this is crazy. And what they're seeing and realizing like this person is learning something new that all this time you are so deserving of so much more. All of this time they've been doing this to you and you have been the type of person that has just been wholeheartedly investing and giving in, in other people and in yourself. And you are so worthy of something so much more. You do not deserve to be put in a partnership where someone will lie to your face and tell you that they care about you and they don't even know you or they're not even trying to really have a fully full understanding. They just want to keep you for themselves. They just want to be selfish and sneak away.
This is like, you know, someone just being very free and very open to just talk very negative about you or to sow negative seeds in your life and then turn right around and like smile in your face and say hi and they love you and hug and kiss all like, you know, like this is just really toxic energy and someone just feeling that they have the ability, the, the power, the control to do it. Like you're not going anywhere. You're stuck. You can't go or you're tied to this or you have to stay and deal with this. And the Lord said, no, that's not okay. You do not. No, you don't. Because who wants to be sitting in a two of cups relationship where there's supposed to be all of this love and attraction and happiness? Look at the light on this card. Like it's just a lot of positive energy. You know, you see the lion there. There's just so much strength and spirituality. And these people are just very much focused on each other. There's they, if there was anything else going on outside of this, they wouldn't even notice it. And this is like, this is the connect, kind of connection you have with this person, but yet and still, this is how they chose to handle you. Like you weren't, you know, worth valuing. Like this type of connection is going to be easy for them to get and to partner and to have this, this, this magnetic attraction or to be able to flow and be on the same page like this. <laughs> they, what did they think? They could go get this at the, <laughs> no. No, no, no. And it's like what they're seeing, they know for a fact you deserve so much better. You didn't deserve, you don't deserve that. And that's not for you. And that's why this relationship is over. This person's ability to control you, to lead where you're going in life, to tell you, you know, like what you should be passionate about or to have this lordship over your life or to be like, you know, this mature uh, father figure or whatever. It doesn't have to be a masculine. This could be a feminine, whatever the case is, that's done. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, an Aquarius. Hmm. Gemini. Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or um, Cancer. Yeah, wa or water sign energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um... Yeah, this person like killed off this connection by how devious they were. They were a backbiter. They could have said something about you being overindulgent. They could have said something about you wanting to have all of this attention or, you know, like you wanting to get a like receive cup of love from everybody or something they were saying. But it's like, you know, they could have really wanted to betray you because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. This is like a God-given gift. You know, this is not something that you're trying trying to do or whatever. It's just, this is just very easily seen because of who you are. And it's like, whatever this person thought that they were going to be able to do for long term and be successful in this and, you know, being in charge of you or dictating something or whatever, that's done. Like you've taken your cup of love away. This person could still be, you know, in this energy with, with other people or other individuals or something. But yeah, you're already out of this off the scene, you know, and you're taking all of your gifts and your talents. You're taking all of these amazing qualities that you have with you. This person is like, you know, they want to apologize or reconcile with you because they left you out in the cold at some point. Like they feel like, OK, they slept on the fact that you're this empress or this emperor. Just take it out fits. This person feels like they ignored you and they left you in a space of lack or they let you feel like, you know, you weren't good enough or you were in a dangerous situation. You could have been, you know, experiencing um, feeling left out. You could have like really felt like you were being shunned or you didn't have a place to go or this person looked at you like you would create this situation in their life. This is how they saw you as someone that wasn't very wealthy or you didn't have, you know, like a lot of money. They could have saw you in a difficult situation. They could have really saw you in transition or something. 
or this is just the energy that they wanted to leave you in instead of allowing you to really, you know, let your true light shine and for you to really stand in this vibration of who you really are. This makes this person feel very nostalgic. It's like, you know, you stepping out of this energy, ending this cycle and really going and stepping into a new um, state of being. This person feels like now that you've ended this cycle or you've ended this connection or this partnership or this work or something like that with them, now you have the potential for this long-term success in leadership or whatever it is that you're doing. And this person feels like they're going to be the ones like, you know, left out if they don't come in and reconcile, if they don't make something right with you. This person feels as though you're going to continue to sit on your throne and just allow it to naturally play and run its course. If this person is going to be feeling left out or whatever, you're not going to, <laughs> you know. You're going to just keep moving forward and keep doing, worrying about what it is that you're working on. You know, stand focused on your own stuff, stand in your own lane, minding your own business, being a very high vibrational spiritual being. And this person feels like they should have reconciled with you the minute they saw you out in the cold. They should have reconciled with you the minute they realized you had this ending in your life or, you know, this is what, there was something that was ending in regards to this relationship, this connection or their influence. You know, when you were left out and you had to really just lean on the Lord and that's it to get a lot done for yourself. This person feels like that's when they should have come in and reconciled with you. Because now this person, you know, they see you as the one that they're that they're supposed to be sharing some type of generational wealth with. They're supposed to have some level of, you know, family inheritance. Like this person is just seeing you from a, di a very, very different perspective. And the fact that they didn't come and reconcile with you and instead of them wanting to see you standing in your power, they wanted to see you standing in a place of shame and abandonment or rejection or lack. This person feels like, well, you know, they should have reconciled with you when you started on this new endeavor or when you decided to step out on this new opportunity or whatever this is for you. But now that they've changed their mind, they feel that your your vibration, like you're so serene. And I have Abigail and Nabel at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, when this person realized that there was an offense or there was something done, they could have interjected. They really could have interceded and really came in and, you know, smooth things out. And they didn't want to. They didn't. <laughs> right when I said that, they didn't want to. So it's like foolish is someone knowing what to do and still doing the opposite. That's a fool. You know, and this person, that's what they did. They were foolish for this behavior. They were foolish for this action to not come in and make things better, to not, you know, use or pull the strength from the past when it was there and available to use in order to really build this legacy, to build this family or to have this giving and exchanging of finances, you know, in a way where it really adds to everyone in the family. Or this person feels like, you know, now they see you as someone that, you know, like what you create or what you've built, what you've invested in is going to be more than enough to share with your family. And this puts this person in so much burden. They feel really embarrassed. They feel like they're going to be taking on extra burdens or whatever the case is. Um... This really, they wanted to take a long time in bringing you this or making you wait for this offer or doing some type of magic to hold you to the side. Um, this is because they were juggling partners or, um, you know, this was them. This person could have been juggling partners, but additionally, they wanted you to really be kind of in this emotional up and down, you know, like they wanted you to experience something that this is, 
I don't know. They really wanted you undecided in this. They didn't want you to be able to figure out which way to go. This person feels like you're seeing them very, very clearly. This is speaking on your mental health, your spiritual health, your abilities to really see past smoke and mirrors. You know, like this person feels like your optimism and the fact that you know that breaking away from this and having this fresh new start is going to create so much positivity and so much good energy in your life. Now that you have walked away from this situation and you've closed out this cycle, it's like whatever series of events kept going on with this person and you backed out and then they stood there like, oh, they're not involved in this anymore because this is typically when they do this. You know, like this is showing this person that you have had a spiritual awakening and that they are stuck. And this is like, this is over. These cycles, this doing this crazy stuff, someone trying to manipulate you and hold you, someone really wanting you to, you know, lack awareness of better days coming ahead for you. They really wanted to keep things stagnant. They wanted you to stay in a space where you felt like you were experiencing all of these up and downs. This person is really in their head over this because they feel like, you know, they're being judged for this. They knew better. They had better judgment, you know, they chose not to use it. And that's why this is over. This person cannot manipulate you. They can't control you and they can't stop you from receiving another offer or, or something like that. The way that you have mastered this work what you produce, the fact that you're able to keep this fire lit and burning for what it is that you have been working on and you are so focused. These are like tedious projects. These are like very, you know, long-term, five, 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 five. This is like long-term investing on things that are very, very solid. This is really making this person feel sick, 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 in their mind, they feel like they made the wrong choice. This person feels like they should not have done the things that they that they did. You know, like they feel a sense of anxiety with this. They feel like they just feel like bad stuff is just going to start happening with this connection or with the relationship or with them. They don't really know what to expect now. They were really counting on this. They weren't expecting you to awaken to the truth. This person really wanted you to feel like the deeper parts of who you are were with them. They want you to feel like your safe space where you always need to be or where you always go when things don't work out or if things just are, are not, you know, if life is just not giving you whatever and you need to take a break from life, you need to pull away, like you always have this space to come back to them or like, you know, this person wanted to be seen as home or that's how they see you. And this is what's really causing this person to have these heart palpitations. This person could really be, you know, feeling sick. This is um, an inability to eat or this is overeating. This is someone really feeling hurt in their heart space. This could be, you know, them crying or them just really getting sad over the fact that something that you're not going to see them as that safe space anymore. You're not going to feel like that's where you need to be, you know. Yeah, they feel like this is done. Like you ended this cycle when this person sat and just watched you go through difficulties. They wanted you to experience this, like being out in the cold. <laughs> Crazy. But, um, you know, and the work that you do too makes this person homesick. Whatever it is, whatever they see you do, they hear you do, there's something about like the love or the passion that you put into it. This person feels like you've just walked away and you've taken your love back. You've taken all of these qualities and all of this, you know, this potential to create something so great and so lasting. You took that away from them. This person feels like you could have walked away. Hmm. 
Holy Spirit, clarify. Hosea, please clarify Hosea for me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So this person feels like you made this choice to walk away. I have Hosea. Um, not necessarily because there was something sexually compromising or, you know, sex, you know, there's not necessarily because this person has like this derogatory kind of name or, or title or this, this very compromised past that could be the case in some situations, but most importantly, this person feels like you're really walking away because you feel like there's so much that happened in the past. There's so much that has already been done. Whatever these offenses are, there's definitely something that you feel as though you're not going to be able to unsee or, you know, get this, image or um, the effects of this from being so permeated in your mind. It's just like this person feels as though you've had it with this. Like you, you, you've had it as much as you can take. You've really reached your limit with this and you're walking away. And like I said, this doesn't necessarily have to be because of a sexually compromised past, but it could be. This could be, you know, you feeling like, okay, I have to explain so much to be with, be in this connection, or you have to do so much to really clean this up or the past of it all. Or, you know, like this is like one of those connections where it's like God would have to tell you specifically to go and do this or change this or whatever. But I mean, like this really could just be somebody was being wild and promiscuous and wanting you to change their name or feeling as though you're not going to because of, you know, their compromised past. But additionally, this person feels as though, you know, it's because you're this boss figure. It's because you are very wise. You're firm in the actions that you take. You stay in control. You don't stand in a lot of guesswork and you like to stay in a very dignified energy. You're very, very balanced in that way. So it's like, you know, you walking away is really showing your strength and power. This person feels like you're not going to compromise. If someone has done something that's just, you can't really recover from on your own, this would have to be God telling you to do this. This person feels like the work that you do, what you've been building with this eight of pentacles, like with the, what really has them feeling homesick and feeling nervous, you know, like they know that you're going to have some very good outcomes with this because you've been really concentrating and you have been just sticking with this plan, this business or um, this trade or whatever. But they feel like this work, this could be self-employment or this could just be you... You could teach a class on something, you could be an instructor, you could be a builder, but regardless, the, the level of hard work and the level of focus that you have given to this has really put you in a very, very good space. And it really projects this empress energy or this emperor energy, just take it however it fits for you. But it's like, it really projects this positive energy, this overall vibe of, you know, who you are. It, it's like someone seeing the outcome of your tedious work or the outcome of what you've been practicing, what you've been hard work, you know, what you've been building or whatever. They're seeing this as the result of that. Like you just standing very whole and complete. And this is not how this person expected you to turn. You know, this was not the energy they were expecting you to be in when they saw you in this. They they left you in this. But it's like you have this very distinct um, belief for yourself. Like I have the empress and the emperor. You are various. You're a stable authority figure. You are a loving boss. Like you could be the type of employer where you treat your employees like family, you know, and this could be something with this emperor, empress energy. If you're an emperor, if you are an empress and you have this emperor energy, it's because you're very Andro androgynous in like this power and influence that you have, the way that you're in control, you could be a small person too. Like you could be a small woman, <laughs> you know, 
And it's just like people really know what time it is when you, when you are even just sitting. They know what time it is, you know? And this is just the strength, this power that you have, this wholeness. It's very, very influential. This person is almost agitated with themselves for being so passionate about ending this and being so sneaky behind your back or doing whatever that to put you in this five of pentacles that they totally miss the fact that you are this, this very high vibrational empress or emperor fully actualized. Like you are just in your life purpose. And this has everything to do with your hard work, your focus. You've built this reputation. You've built all of this work for yourself. You've, you know, the opportunity that you're, that you're receiving or the fact that this person, you know, doubted your new opportunity. They doubted your abilities. They doubted what you were headed towards. They didn't know if you were just going to let this fizzle out and go really quick. They didn't know what to, what to see. Um, how to really view this. And now it's like, this person is just really embarrassed. They're very embarrassed. They feel very, um, you know, like they're dwelling on the past and how they viewed you. Like this person is really stressed out over this because the energy that they had when they were dealing with you was not that of the energy that you give to an empress or an emperor. You know, and now this person could really be seeking help from other people or wanting to get some type of guidance or feedback because they're very anxious and uneasy about how they did you. And now that they've changed their mind, this person has, you know, like they are enlightened now. And what they see is not only are you an influencer, but it's like the divine has guided you. You have been like spiritually guided. You have angelic assistance, whatever um, rules. Whatever rules or tradition or what they wanted you to conform to, this person had you all the way wrong. They thought they needed to control and manipulate and do all of this. And, you know, but the truth is, it's like you have this spiritual law and order very much down in your heart. And now this person sees you as a spiritual leader. They see you as someone that is held to a very high standard, you know? You're the type of person where it's just like you feel really good about the things that you've received back. And a lot of people don't see what you've invested to receive what you have. They just see you receiving or sitting pretty. And it's like people want to do things to just like dog you or take from you right away or to, you know, put you in a terrible space or they think that, you know, you're so privileged or if life is so easy, they need to block this or they need to do that. Like... That's over. This is, that's crazy. And it's like they them taking this action towards a spiritual leader is literally, like I said, the Holy Spirit, like I have all I need for this case. This is divine judgment for, for whatever this person was doing over and over and over again. And like I said, I have the star, but she's not dressed. So I'm not going to show you. You knew exactly how to heal from this and close this out. This person didn't think that you knew how to. They didn't think that you had the level of spiritual ranking or authority. They did not know that you have been fully awakened to the truth. You are in your life purpose. You are very deliberate in the actions that you take. And it's like you still make time to pray and grow. You still pour into yourself. You pour into your environment. And you have completed whatever this cycle is. You've moved on to the next phase. Um, a lot of this, this person feels like this was being done because they wanted to be territorial or they just wanted to be defensive towards you. Um, somebody could have really been aggressive towards you because you challenged their ego and the level of comfort and abundance and happiness that you have for yourself and in your life. And this person feels like, you know, they had a lot of financial troubles or they felt really left out or something. But you needing to go into a space of healing over and over and over again because you're being manipulated and you're being hurt, you're being used or something like that, you're done with that. That's no longer going to repeat in your life. 
this person just has been learning and spying that, you know, you're winning and you're receiving the things that you deserve. This is like positive karma coming back towards you. This is the Lord giving you back what you put out and you deserve this. You deserve your wishes to come true. You deserve this open recognition to have this, this very public victory, you know, to be seen as achieving all of the things that you set out to do. This person feels like you have supporters now, like you're receiving all of this great news. You're being crowned by your successes and, and all of this, like there's triumph for you. Them, you know, like learning that you have a lot of supporters. You have people that are either fans of your work, like you could be an artist, you could be there, there's something that you do that is just really dope. Like it's really, really cool. Whatever it is that you, that you work on or something that you know how to do your profession, your trade. But this person feels like, you know, they wanted to be sneaky towards you and they wanted to snake you because you were happy because you had positive, um, energy in your life and there's good things coming towards you and stuff, but it's like what they try to do because of you really experiencing this overflow of happiness and positivity, they wanted to kill it off and it's been resurrected. The, them being in the seven of swords energy, like being very sneaky and trying to ruin your happiness or ruin what other um, emotional offers you receive or how people perceive you or, you know, like just doing everything they can and doing the most to be a snake in the grass. In this partnership or in this connection, I have King Saul at the bottom. This person, you know, they didn't want you to be greater than them. This could really be someone It's like you sued this person's demons and they'll still throw a dagger at you. That's when you realize you got to get out of there. You got to get away from this person or this or whoever this magician energy is. Um, And then clarifying the seven of swords. I have inner voice, mother energy and rigid. Yeah, you were you were receiving downloads and messages. This was the divine. The Holy Spirit was telling you that there was being there was something manipulative being done behind your back. And it's like this person <laughs> they wanted to control the level of happiness that you received. But it's like you did. You had an inner voice, this motherly energy in your mind telling you, "Yep, yeah, this is exactly what they're doing." That this person was being very hard, very stiff, you know, being very brittle about something behind your back. And now it's like they were not expecting this ending to happen like this. They weren't expecting you to be able to cut this cord or uproot whatever this was um, planted. They weren't expecting you to sever this soul tie. This was just very much unexpected for this person. Now they feel like they lost out on something. They either feel like they lost out on something, um, inheritance or whatever, but they're really frustrated and they feel very guilty and disappointed all at the same time because it's like the Holy Spirit really told you what was going on. This could be a mother energy as well. You could have had literally an inner voice about a mother energy. Clarifying the seven of swords, I have John the Baptist. So, you know, this person went behind your back and they were doing a lot of stuff because you speak the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Number one, you could have said something very outwardly loud, or you could have just declared something just very radical and not really caring how it was seen, viewed or perceived. Like you're very different. Just regardless, you think differently, you move differently. There could have been something about, you know, this gift that you have to see things as, as the way that they are and then just very clearly speak that and speak a truth in it. They could have been moving in silence and plotting behind your back because of this or they wanted to keep you or something like that because of this. I just take it however...
Yeah. Hmm. This person was in this energy where they felt like they were making things fair or something like that. I don't know what they did to you or the, the actions that they took behind your back to be in, um, be, to be in opposition against you. To really be in this clashing ego and like being defensive and territorial, like this person just wanted a certain level of self-importance. So it's like they wanted to keep you so that they can control what you receive. They wanted to breadcrumb you. They felt like them being able to be in this manipulative energy was only balanced and, and was only going to be fair because you have this very radical truth speaking to you. And then I just saw Babylon has fallen. Yeah, this person feels like they just lost everything. When they lost you, now they're realizing that everything is crumbling down. They wanted to breadcrumb you, but not temperance. So it's like God tempered that energy really fast. Because it's like this person really wanted to snake you and do all of this stuff to you because you speak your truth. You know, there's something that you said that this person didn't like. There was something that you speak and this person doesn't like that. So they were going to keep you close so that they could really be moving behind your back to snake you for this, this John the Baptist energy, speaking this truth and confidence and really standing on that. Like, yeah, whatever. I don't care about what you heard. This is the truth right here. And then people supporting you in this is being undenied. Like it's undeniable. This is why this person did this. So, you know, they would take these actions and deceive you behind your back and they would do it quickly. It's like you could see this person in one minute and they'll be charming and exciting and loving towards you. And then the very next minute, because of what you're capable of, boom, they'll go right behind your back and just take quick action against you. They really thought that they were getting away with it. This could have been cheating. Literally, someone could have been cheating. Like this could literally be someone wanting to cheat on you because this is who you are. You carry this forerunner energy. Like when you show up, there's definitely change that's going to happen here, you know, but whatever it is, this person wanted to do this and be this player, or they wanted to like take these sneaky actions and then play you in your face by acting like it's all good or something like that. And when this death angel was released, when the Holy Spirit said, okay, I have everything that I need now you're free from this. You're released from this. It's like the Holy Spirit was building a case and got all the evidence needed against this person or this organization, this group, this team, this marriage or whatever this is. But this is divine intervention. God has allowed your gifts, your qualities, your talents, all that you have invested, all that you have to offer to really push you forward in a better energy. And this is the divine intervening. There's something about you no longer working for um, the same company. You're no longer working with the same group. You're no longer working with the same team, um, working on, you know, a marriage or something long term or whatever. But this was divine intervention that this is ended here. Because you're an earth angel, whatever it is that there is an earth angel energy around you, or you are the earth angel, but there's definitely something here that you do that the divine wants you to continue to build and grow. And you have received some type of spiritual assistance for this. Whatever you're building that you have, um, it's like you stay so focused on this because you could be getting downloads. Like you just get in the zone and do what it is that you need to do. And you're very, very good at it, right? Whatever this is that the divine has you transferring from your mind to your work, there's something is like you stay focused and you... You transfer this information from your imagination, from your spiritual to your reality. There's something about the accumulation of this or the wealth or something within this that 
has ended. So whoever this was benefiting from this work that you do, that's done. You get what I mean? Like if someone's been getting taking the credit for your work, if somebody has been building something off of having this partnership with you and you're the one doing all of the work and you're the one all focused and everything, that's done. This person is going to need some type of spiritual assistance to really help them manage their emotions after this. Because it's like the divine ended this because of whatever work you do is so precious to your gift or your mission. That whoever this is, because of what they've done, they're not going to benefit from this. They, It's like the divine wants you to be paired in something that's a lot um, a lot better balanced for your mission, for something like that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I have Hannah at the bottom. You could have really been praying about this or this person feels like you've been praying, you know, about this. This person feels really sad though. Like they feel rejected. You know, this could have been them being hurt because they cheated on you or because they put you in a one-sided relationship. There was like not very much loyalty here. You know, like you have this new truth now and this is a divinely guided truth. This is like, they share this truth with you. And this brings this person conflict. It's like they didn't want to bring healing when you were the one being left out in the cold. There was just a lot of stuff that this person has done that, you know, has just really has this person exposed for being not in the best energy for you. They feel guilty that, you know, this this person feels guilty that they had you and they allowed this to end because of their form of leadership or the way that they express their passions or how they handle certain things. It's like you reached your limit and you had to walk away. This is you being, you know, empowering yourself. It's like when this person saw you out in the cold. They could have literally been on the other side of the wall having like a banquet or something like that. <laughs> like they could have literally saw you while they were just like living it up inside of here, you know. <laughs> but um, this was also a test. This was also, you know, the Lord really testing this person. It's just like, okay, you didn't see who this person really was. They wanted you to not have any kind of blessings. This is someone that didn't expect you to have, they didn't have any hope in you. They didn't have any, um, you know, they, they were, they were not confident or, or certain about anything good or positive or any type of blessing coming for your life. This person just felt like this was going to be that, just a hardship for you. You were going to just stay in a space of hardship. This is why they didn't want to reconcile with you. Because they felt like they would be reconciling with someone that was just really doing really bad or something. Or just not what they wanted it to look like. I don't know. Just take that how it fits. But... Now they regret this because it's like you're brave and you stood as your own leader. You led yourself out of whatever dark space this was. You used all of your confidence. You used every bit of charisma that you have. You know, like you know how to take risks and you're an action taker. You are the empress or the emperor, you know. This person feels like they should have reconciled with you and life would be good now. They would have unlimited possibilities. All of their wishes would be coming true. This person would feel like they've actually, you know, invested in a good life or some type of positive karma with this. There would be something that they could partake in this new opportunity. Now that they've changed their mind and they totally see you as the spiritual leader who is blessed and highly favored. This person could have thought that you were in some type of Sodom and Gomorrah energy. Um, That's not for everybody. Or, and they've changed their mind about that. 
and they see that you are about family, tradition, legacy, investing in those around you, community, or this is that person. <clears throat> oh, my throat just got... Excuse me. This is that person. This um this could be someone that was really in this Sodom and Gomorrah energy. They left you out in the cold. They wanted to leave you. They wanted to prolong how long they came back or how long it took. And they didn't care if you were alone, if you were lonely, if you were sitting in the dark by yourself. This person was being very sexually immoral. They had every intention on continuing this too. So this could be someone that, that likes both sexes. This could be someone that likes men and women. Or if this is a woman, they, she likes men and women. If this is a man, they like men and women. If this is a masculine, this is someone that's on the down low. Or they just like to do a lot all at once. Like this is someone that wouldn't care if this person is underage, if they're messing with a little kid. They don't care if they're doing, you know, threesomes or who else, that, you know, like whatever. Like this person just didn't care. And then in addition to that, it's like they carry this, um, you know, being in this space with this nasty, sexually immoral energy, but then not even being a kind hearted person. In addition to that, like really enjoying being in a good space and then seeing someone else being out in the cold. So just take it however it fits. Or this could be a situation where, you know, someone left you out in the cold and they thought that reconciling with you wouldn't be so good for them or they could leave you or something. And now they're feeling nostalgic. But it's like, you see very clear, like your life is good. Reconciling with this could put you in some type of Sodom and Gomorrah energy. Falling under this Ten of Pentacles, this could be some type of family. I don't know just take it how it fits for you but you know like this person just feels very much burdened by their choices and their decisions because you are established you know you're a balanced individual you have relationship cooperation you're kind you're patient you know you're a very respectful person you are very quick to think and slow to speak you know you didn't say anything about who you are and what your worth is and what you're deserving of when this person wanted to put you in this five of pentacles where it's like you're out in the cold feeling lack and destitute they could have taken something from you they could have caused you know very um damaging ev events or you know dangerous situations to happen for you but it's just like you stood in your power within your heart no matter what the the situation looked like you've always been a very hard working very wise and very balanced father or mother you're self-employed. If you're not, you work like you are. You know what I mean? Like you produce a, the level of work for your employer as if this is your company or something like that. Like this is the type of energy you put into this. And this is why this person is really having sleepless nights because they thought you were, you were going to step out on something that was just very silly or you're just doing whatever at the moment, you know, like, and they're realizing, no, with your routines, with with the way that you know how to apply all of your life experiences, all of your education, your knowledge, like you don't just concentrate on the work that you do. You con you put this level of focus and concentration in anything that you're doing. And now it's like this person feels like you are this queen or this king of pentacles and the, the level of maturity that you have, the level of financial know-how, this person really feels embarrassed and they feel ashamed for either, you know, thinking that they could be in this sexually immoral energy or want to put you in some type of Sodom and Gomorrah energy with them. They could really just be embarrassed that this is a person just having whatever with both sexes and just wanting to keep you on hold to wait. And now they feel defeated. They feel like, you know, they saw you as you know, in this David and Goliath energy, they saw you like this. Like Goliath was a giant. He was a champion. He was a very seasoned um warrior 
So it's like this person saw you as very like, you don't have what it takes. You're not even in a good space. You're nothing. Like they didn't add any value to you. And they kind of enjoyed watching you sit in this space where you, you know, like you're having a hard time. But the truth is, now that they've been defeated, they realize this is who you are the entire time. Just because David appeared to be a young boy and, you know, he was kind of ruddy and a look, like good looking and, you know, just very unorthodox and just very brave, very strong faith. They weren't expecting, you know, him to have that level of strength. And to be so courageous. But all right, I'm going to leave it there. I had no idea this was going to go this long. Yeah. This person is just confused at why they chose this fantasy and they put all of this, like they were in all these illusions. Why they wanted you to be so wounded. Why they wanted you to just, you know, have to continue to fight. Or they wanted to drain you of your energy and just have you fatigued. Like when you are King David, just like I said. You know, now that you stepped into your life purpose. And now that you are who God has called you to be. This person fully understands why you were able to defeat them even in your childlike energy. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Love you. Bye.